Hello everybody, my name is JMac Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2016. We're running with North Alabama Lions. This is episode 8. You're here. I'm here. We're 8 games out of finishing the regular season. Uh, last episode, we struggled. Uh, we lost... We beat Jacksonville State, the team I was scared of the most all year. But then we lost to Eastern Kentucky. Lost to Murray State on a... F Don't get me started on that one. A buzzer beater. And Tennessee State whooped our ass too. So now we got Tennessee Martin, Moorhead State, Austin P, Eastern Kentucky in this episode. And then the next one, Eastern Illinois, Jacksonville State, Southern Eastern Missouri State, and Tennessee Tech to end out the season. Let's just get let's get into it. Like last, it's been a while since I recorded with this game because I was kind of upset. That Murray State game took a lot out of me, and I just haven't had the the drive to play this game since those last three losses. We we were what we were nine and eight at one point this season, and then we just keep losing. It's uh it's been a rough run. I'm back. I'm going to heavily record this today, see if I'm going to try to get the season done today with recordings. When they come out on YouTube, no idea. I don't know the release schedule for that yet. I still have other shit to record tonight. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, we get Tennessee Martin today. Um, it's actually been a little bit since I've looked at all, that, at all this. Who started? What, what happened last game? Who was starting? Tennessee State. All right, let's load the box score. Todd Jackson had 15, and no one else did anything. So we're starting Jackson, Morris, Williams, Jensen, Bryant. Murdoch? I can't play Murdoch. Murdoch fucking sucked. Our whole team sucked. Let's let's just get into it. Let's see if we can get a win over the Tennessee Martin team and go to 10 and, a 10 and 11 with a 4 and 5 record in the in the, the Ohio Valley Conference. I don't think we're going to win the conference. I don't. I don't think so. We'll see. Hope. We go on with Bryant, Jensen, Jackson, Morris, Williams. If anything needs to change, we'll change it. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I think our season is probably over. We will see. Let's see if we can. Let's see, let's see if we can steal one against the. Uh, what are they? The Tennessee Martin Sky Skyhawks. All right. So we're up to six zero. Tom Jackson already with six points. Predictions on this game? I think we will get a win. I think Tennessee Martin is one of the weaker teams in the conference, and our skill, what like what little skill we have, but our skill will. Um, well, let us beat them as we are up now 17-14. Or 17-4. My bad, 19-4. Like I said, I think I think our, our players are good enough that they will shine John Agar, Todd Jackson, both with six points already. As now the Skyhawks are making a comeback with seven minutes to go. They are not only down by nine, they were down by 15 at one point. The ten-point game, though, as John Morris makes two. Murdoch gets another two points. Todd Jackson makes a three-point play. There you go, nine points for him. It's 30 to 18, 32, 18 now, 33. I'm excited to get through the season and get to the conference tourney. I think we we've shown that we can play well. We've shown that we can take it to the better teams like Jacksonville State. My phone just went off. I'm very apologetic about that. 41 13. We are in halftime. 41 23. Top players. Uh, Todd Jackson with 11 and 3 rebounds. Andre Wise, 3 steals, 3 points. Um, I'd like to look because I wasn't looking at turnovers. We're fine. Uh, fouls. Eh. But hey. We're looking good against a team we should look good against. That's a big, big, that's a big key that I'm looking at. We should be beating these teams decisively, and we're not. We're struggling against lower skilled teams, but we're playing our we're playing our lights out. 
Playing our hearts out against better teams. Jacksonville State is the one I keep going back to because that team was good. I'm not I'm not trying to f take anything. That team was a good team, and we came out and we beat them. We, what was it? Was that the comeback game we had? Yeah, we we made a comeback against them. So to see us not performing the way we should against some other teams is disheartening. But we are coming on to play today, so I don't know what I'm talking about. We're up by 24. John Morris with 9, 4, 4, 5. Murdoch. Mike Bryant with um, 15 and 7. Todd Jackson with 11 and 6. Both coming on to play today. We're up by 31 with 3 minutes left. It's looking good. I'm not going to say they're going to score 31 in a row, but uh, I think we got this one on the ramp. They might make it a closer game than it should have been, and it's going to end up 44-65. Mike Bryant, 17-7. Todd Jackson, 13-6. And, and John Morris with 9 points. John Agar, 8 points and 7 rebounds. Good for you, John Agar. Uh, player of the game, probably Mike Bryant. Good for you. And let's exit the game. We stole a win. Let's look back. Uh, Jacksonville State won. The Red Hawks won. Austin P beat Eastern Kentucky. And Murray State get another win. Uh, what do I go? I, okay, there we go. So, hey, that's one. That's, that's one we needed. If we lost that game, I would have been really sad. I would have been very confused on the inconsistency of this team. As we can beat good teams and lose to bad ones. That's a big problem, I think, with us. Because if you look at it, we we lose to like guys like Eastern Kentucky, who are eight and twelve, and the Edwards were Ed, Edwardsville Cougars, eight and twelve. But we beat teams like Belmont, who are six and three in the conference, and teams like Jacksonville State, fifteen and five, and six and three in the conference. But we lose to guys who are three and five in the conference, and oh, we we lose. A close game against uh, against Murray State. Let's look at the standings. We are now we we play in the West with at Murray State. That's going to be a hard one to beat. Eastern Illinois four and five in the conference, but six and fourteen overall. I played a mm -hmm, yeah a terrible. It looks like a terrible. Um, I don't, know what, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess they had a hard out of conference schedule. A harder out of conference schedule compared to what we had, which we did too. We didn't do too bad. I don't. I, if I can remember right, we didn't do awful, right? Yeah, I think we did. We didn't do that bad. <laughs> My mic was a little lower than I wanted it to. There we go. How do I sound? How do I sound? There we go. Uh, when's our next game? We got a new email. I just saw the Morehead State tomorrow. Let's look at the email. Probably just... All right. So the top 30 Norton candidates are announced. Do we have anyone who's just... Western Kentucky's Sam Hay. That's one of the few that's sticking out to me. Everything else looks... The bigger schools. Kansas, North Carolina, Connecticut. You know, teams that should be up there. Players that should be up there. Western Kentucky, Sam Hayes. Good for you. All right, so we play Moorhead State tomorrow. Let's skip to that day. Moorhead State at 12-8. and eight. Let's see if we can steal a win against Moorhead State. Uh, um, prediction before we even get to the game. I don't think we will. I think Moorhead State will wet the floor with us. Um, will it be close? No, I think we'll lose by 15 or more. Gamecast, let's go, begin game. Uh, go like that. Uh, strategy, nope, this thing, this thing, and let's get into it. Can we steal a game? Sean Williams had low energy, I just noticed. I'm going to have to look into that. He had 23, I don't know. He might be hurt. I'm... <laughs> Guys, I think Sean Williams was hurt, and I completely forgot about that. Completely forgot about 
his injury. And I'm uh, that's why John Agar played so much, I guess, from last game. Because he's already in the 80s energy. Oh, boy. Guys, that was not a... Taid gets two points, and then he turns the ball over. Murdoch gets the rebound, and then Taid misses the shot. Uh, Murdoch gets to the joiner, misses offensive rebound. Can they get it? No. Three straight uh, missed shots isn't good. And then Mike Bryant hits a three. Defensive rebound, misses the shot. Come on, let's, let's, hit, a, let's hit a shot, boys. Mike Bryant hits another three. Stealing the ball, turning the ball over. We have 12 turnovers, 13 turnovers. Mike Bryant right now has five turnovers by himself. He has more turnovers by himself than the whole Moorhead State team does as a collective group. Lester Murdoch hits a buzzing, beating three to tie the game going into half. Um... Yeah, Sean Williams played one minute. John Agar is playing out of his mind for a backup right now, though. Like, I'm really, ex I'm really happy for him that he's going out of his way. Uh, Murdoch starts at the small forward to end the start the second. So we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, lessen the turnovers, Mike Bryant. I'm looking at you, five and one half, not good. We have 15 right now. I'd like, and this is where I think Morehead State is going to take a while. Uh, oh, come on, Agar, you get. If you're going to steal the ball, do not take a jump shot and miss it. Todd Jackson missing a three. This is. Mike, oh, Mike Bryant makes a three. Davey turns the ball over. Jackson makes it a two point game. Brennan Bryant fouls him twice in a row. Jensen ties it up. Misses for Murdoch. Jones hits it. Oh, Commits an offensive foul, steals the ball, makes a three throw. It's a four three point game. Trotman into two. It's now a seven point game, eight point game, ten point game, twenty one. Watkins missing both. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at the Sean Williams thing. It's a ten point game. It's a nine. Okay, it's over. It's over when you make fucking two offensive rebounds in one drive and then get fouled and make the two points. That's probably it. Joyner turns the ball over. Brian. 23 turnovers. Todd Jackson not getting the ball as much as I wanted him to. Four points. Only three shots. I don't even want to look at that one. We had that one. We had that game one. And, all right, first off. Sean Williams is hurt. I have to get him out of the... How long is he hurt for, boys? Landry. Broken elbow. <laughs> He's got a broken elbow and I'm playing him. I'm so sorry, brother. All right, let's give it to staff. Not staff. That's not what I wanted. It's the Matrix. Uh, Sean Williams will not be playing Jan Agar. All right, well, let's look at the sub matrix right now. Um, Williams isn't even going to play. So Agar will be going there. And then who's that other guy? Jeremy Nolan will be playing the center. Um, and then Agar. And Nolan. So this is first half. And then Agar. Boom, 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 boom. Nolan. And Nolan, Nolan. And Agar will be playing the last. It'll be 20, 24 minutes is fine for, for Mr. Agar. I'm going to let Williams rest for a little bit. Just because I don't, he's, I don't know. I don't know. Joe Watkins will probably play a little bit. Nolan was a starter at one point, was not? Was he not? So, him not getting a lot of playing time lately, probably pissing him off. But it is what it is. 
Um, it'll be Agar and Nolan rolling out for a little bit. Hopefully, Sean Williams can come back. We take on Austin P. Or Pay. Um, with third place in the West implications. Yeah. We beat them in Eastern Illinois. Loses. We're in third with. Oh, wait. Tennessee Martin. Skyhawks as well. But we beat them, so I don't count them. They're not in our division. Scrolling through these games. All right. So we have the Austin P. Governors. Uh, Sean Williams should not be starting. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. He'll be taken out. There we go. So, he's already out. Let's see if we can win a game. Let's see if we can out. Uh, Jackson already matching his last game points in the first three minutes. That's a good start. I, th I think Jackson is our better sh uh, is our one of our better shooters. So if he can score a lot more, I I think we're gonna win a lot more games. <laughs> that makes much more sense. I looked away for four seconds. We're up twenty to five. Jackson with twelve points. Jackson is pissed off that he did not get the ball a lot against. Um, who did we just lose to? Boys. I don't remember who we just lost to. Uh, Morehead State, sorry. Uh, Jackson got 12 points, 4 rebounds, 2 offensive rebounds. Agar's got 4 points. It's a 27 to 13 game. Todd Jackson. I think we've had one guy hit. I think Jackson hit 30 one time this year. He He's on pace to do it again. He's almost on pace. If he can get another two pointer anywhere, he's four for ten though. So he's not. He started off hot. Nolan's got six points coming back for his first game. Porter, and there we go. Thirty-seven, twenty-one. Todd Jackson, fourteen points, four rebounds, four for ten. Uh, he's probably the top player of our team. Yes, Isaac McIntyre, nine points, one assist, one rebound. Let's return to the game. Let's see if we can keep this. They have the momentum, if you look at the bottom of the court. Well, they did. Now we do. Uh, Ryan Porter's got 17. I think he'll hit 23 points. Never mind. He hits another three. Todd Jackson is playing out of his mind. Dave Jensen makes a couple of free throws. Jensen makes a layup. This is the and one. Todd Jackson hits a slam dunk. Joyner makes two three throws. Jackson gets... Rebound and then misses a three. Um, they're shooting a lot well better, uh, Austin P is, than us right now in the second half. Jackson makes a slam dunk. He's got 24. Jensen with 11. Nolan's got six off the bench. It is now an eight-point game, though. A nine-point game. A eight-point game. I'm getting a little worried, if you can tell by my voice. Agar makes a slam dunk. It's now an eight-point game. Agar makes a layup. His first four points of the game. Joyner makes two free throws. Lester, man, it's turned into a 14-point game. Agar makes a three, or two, sorry. Jensen with the rebound. Mitch Reynolds with the slam dunk. Stone, but it doesn't matter. Agar hits four free throws and hits misses a three. It doesn't matter. Todd Jackson with 25 leads the uh, North Alabama Lions to a win over the Austin Pay Governors. 74-63. A lot closer than it was at one point in that game. Um, really happy with that result. Todd Jackson came out to play with 24 points. Um, yeah, after only having three shots against Moorhead State, he ended up with like 14 or 15. So that's good, good to see out of him. Schedule-wise, let's look. One more game this episode. We have Eastern Kentucky at home. Uh, let's look at the standings. Did we move? No. Uh, Eastern Illinois won as well. So uh, we stay in fourth place in the division. 
If we can somehow catch second seed, I'll be pretty happy. We beat Belmont, and we beat... We, Look, that East Division looks a lot easier than the West Division. A lot easier. Jacksonville State, we beat. Belmont, we beat. Morehead State, eh. Eastern Kentucky. Well, never mind. We take on Eastern Kentucky right now. So we can steal a win against Eastern Kentucky. Um, I'd be pretty happy with this episode. Three and one. I, I'm fine with a two and two. I mean, we'd still stay two below 500 in both the regular and conference. But I'm not I'm not too worried. I think we have a competitive team. The the conference is it too like there isn't one team in the conference which is better than everyone else other than Jacksonville State at home, which we I just saw at the standings there are fourteen and zero at home. So we'll see. Um we take on Eastern Kentucky. This will be a big game for us. Can we win? Can we? We have a decent RPI as well, 159. So I'm again. I'm not too worried about how this season's going. We are exactly where I thought we'd be. It's just gonna take a matter of time to get where I want us to be. All right. Let's get this underway. Play it. Let's go. Oh man. Mike Bryant starts off with a three, and then Jackson makes a two. It's a good start. Again, didn't mess with Sean Williams. I think it's eh, it's whatever. Nolan's Nolan and Agar have to play, I think. And John Agar makes a slam dunk. Williams Williams will be back. He'll he'll get his time back. Nolan Nolan and Agar will play for the backup position at the center. I'm not too worried. I'm actually enjoying this team because we are now on to a big lead again. Jackson, we're up 18-3. Jesus. I, from what? This, this is not the same North Alabama team I saw last episode. Maybe Sean Williams is the reason. <laughs> Agar and Jeremy Nolan came out to play. Oh, well, it's, well, I'm fine with a 10-point lead. Jensen makes two points. Sorry about that. Um, Morris misses a jump shot. Defensive rebound. Defensive foul. Defensive slam dunk for Cherokee Walton. Todd Jackson misses a three. Typical Todd Jackson. Uh, and then he makes one. So he said, fuck you, J-Mag. Uh, and then he makes another one. So he's really putting it in my face right now. That he can make those threes when he wants. We will go into the second half at with a 14 lead, a point lead. North Alabama player of the game. Uh, Sean Williams came in, didn't do anything. Agar with 14 points, six, 14 minutes, six points. Todd Jackson, 10 points, four rebounds. Todd Jackson. Cherokee. Cherokee Walton is the power forward on the Eastern Kentucky Colonels, who is leading their team in points and rebounds. So let's see. Jackson already has 15 points in the. He ended the second half, first half with 10. So he's coming out to play. Media timeout already. Murdoch and I think well I think Jackson with 21 points, man. Jackson out. Whew. Good for you. We have come out to play. Then misses a three. So I guess I uh, misses another one. So I guess he's got. I got new into his head. John Morris hits a two. And this is a jump shot the next time around. Cortez Respert. Respert, sorry. We're up by 20. Tahid hits a three. Nolan with the rebound. And Morris makes a two. Walter hits a two. Murdoch turns the ball over. Murdoch hits a two. Bryant hits a two. Bryant turns the ball over. It's six turnovers. I'm not even looking at that. Man, six tone or it was Mike Bryant. You gotta keep the ball. Uh, Mike Bryant hits a two. Jackson with the rebound. Joiner hits a couple of free throws. Jackson hits a slam dunk to end. What I think? No, nope, Morris hits another two points. Jackson misses the shot. Actually gets blocked in the game. Twenty five point lead after the game. North Alabama wins.
Jackson with 23 points. Wow, wow, wow. A hell of a game for Todd Jackson. A hell of a couple games for Jackson. Let's let's look at. Can we look at game by game? If I go like this. Later today. Oh uh, no. Well, that's the year right now. Let's just look. He's averaging 30 minutes a game with 14 points and five rebounds. Um, game. Oh, he's a senior. I didn't even run. Oh, oh no. Well, let's look point wise. Um. He's hit 10 points every game. Oh, no, he hasn't. He had four against Warren State. He's had 24 and 23 these last two games. Um, so, in the in these... Oh, wait, let's... Um, that's not what I want. I ruined the sorting for that game logs. So, in these games, 13 points with a plus-minus of 23. Four points against Moorhead State. He only played 16 minutes, though. I think he had foul trouble. He, if I can look, it doesn't say his fouls. So. Oh, yeah, personal fouls. He had three. He probably was in foul trouble the game. Um, then off the page, 24 points. Eastern Kentucky, 23. Good. Good for him. Who was it? Was it Mike Bryant or Murdoch? Who had all the points? It may have been Mike Bryant. Someone had 30-something points, I swear. Uh, Molester Murdoch had 23 against Detroit. Um, 39 days. Actually, Sean Williams is probably out for the year, it looks like. Okay. So, yeah, he's probably done for the year. Sean Williams is a sophomore from Durham. All right. Well, next episode, we'll see what we're doing with him. Probably. Probably going to bench him for the year. Uh, and maybe Joel Forrest will start playing some more. All right. Well, we will see you for episode number nine, where we finish off the season. And then episode 10, where we start conference tournament time. March Madness. Hope you guys are excited for, as I am because I'm really pumped to see if we can make a run in the tournament, in the conference tournament. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'm JMac Gaming. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you for episode nine, where we finish off the season. See you.